All right, so today we're gonna be cleaning out our bird enclosure behind me. This thing is pretty epic. It's custom built by Jerry, who will make an appearance later. We normally clean this out about every two weeks, but it has been about a month because we all, we have been sick AF in my house. Like we got sick and it took out, it took out all my whole house. Basically we've all been feeling it. So welcome to the cleaning. Okay, let me show them how bad it is. It's pretty epic, epically dirty after a month. You can see we've got millet and stuff down. And these guys actually don't like to come out too much ever since we built this enclosure. This is their happy place. Um, we do let them out in the room where they proceed to poop and chew on everything. But they really don't like coming coming out too much. This is where sometimes we grow stuff for them to munch on, some little herbage, and they will mow it down pretty consistently. So we have the two doors, big doors on the sides that open up, and this little, I call it a little runway here, that opens up and we also have this guy on the side where they can get out. Other parts of the cage, I found these tracks for curtains and this is not exactly how, these are made to be hung from the ceiling, but the way we put them up is so that we can cover the cage at night just by using tracks, otherwise we were chunking sheets over it because this thing is absolutely massive. When we do let them out, they like to eat the wall. Look at that. We live in a manufactured house and they just like to tear things up. You have cockatiels, you understand. There's another spot where they have decided to just pick, they like to pick at it. Pick at the wall. And here's my shameless plug for the perches that we use, you can see that we actually have these little signs right here. The link is in the description. Those are personalized. And it does come with mounting hardware. As you can see, the birds use the hell out of it. What are you guys doing? You looking at your housekeeper? Huh? Is he your maid? Let's let's talk about the fruity pebble situation. If y'all watched that video where we talk about feeding our birds these little fruit blend, which we call fruity pebbles, let's talk about the mess and how much they just let look at it. Some of this stuff ain't even chewed. They just like to throw it. And it is everywhere. Everywhere.
You have my heart, you have my soul, you have my whole, you have my control. Love me tender, love me sweet, with you I know that I'm complete. I'm in love with the summer's day, for you I'd give my life away. Never leave me, never let me. So, as y'all can see, we normally put newspaper down, and we're not able to put newspaper all over the bottom just because of the unique design, but I think what we're going to try is that they make these little mats for chickens in their nesting boxes, and they're reusable, and you can take them out. Hi, oh, <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? You can take them out and hose them off. Hi, what are you doing? You look like a Muppet. Yes, you do. I love the Muppets. Um, and I think we're gonna I think we're gonna get some of those and try at the bottom because as you can tell, this is a permanent structure in our house <clears throat> because of just how ginormous and massive it is. Um, oh now they're coming out. And if we continue the way that we're doing with just this newspaper kind of in spots, we're going to end up having, you know, 20 years of bird crap. And uh, it's going to start to build up. So even if you scrape it off, there's going to be a lot there. Sasha on the flat personalized perch. Again, shameless plug. Y'all go to our Etsy shop, check these perches out. They're pretty fabulous. This is the cleaned cage. See if I can make it a little brighter there for y'all. See, we can put newspaper down, but we just can't cover it all. Actually, we could probably use a couple more pieces. I'll put some more down. Here's their tray of snacks. The snackage. That poop is not loose. It is totally, it's on there. We're going to figure, that's Jerry coughing. As I said, we've been sick. <clears throat> this was also custom made by Jerry using wood from our property. And actually all of this, y'all, is we used uh, from... Our property we used wood that's on our property we wanted to make it as natural as possible honestly it's more like a, a zoo habitat <clears throat> hi guys and oh, we moved over here hi here's some cockatiel butt look at my booty look at it talk to the tail so this is this is the cleaned the clean cage. 